Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create lace up look in Clo 3D. I have uploaded a knit dress block on the avatar. First step. I will use internal polygon tool to add internal lines to determine where I want the lace up section. For this dress, I am going to have a curve shape cut out in the front bodice. Once the cutout section is done, remove all the unnecessary points on the internal lines by right-click them and select Convert to Curve Point. Select the cutout section segment lines, right-click and choose Cut and Sew. Move the pattern piece away from the bodice. Instead of deleting the cutout piece, I am at a new fabric in Object Browser, and lower its opacity to zero in Property Editor. Assign this fabric to the cutout piece and it will become transparent in both 3D and 2D windows. The reason I am doing this is to make sure the cutout section will stay in same shape during simulation and movement. This will also help to reduce issues when making animation. Just remember to delete this piece when you are ready to print out the pattern for actual production. Now the eye have finished the dress design. It's time to add lace up. First thing I need to do is to create eyelets. Click on cutout section cut line, right click and add an internal line. This will be the distance you want the eyelets from the cutout edge. Go to 2D Toolbar and click Add Point Split Line. Move cursor to the internal line and right-click to bring out the split line window. Choose Uniform Split and enter the amount in number of segments. You will see the points been adding to the internal line. Use up and down arrow to adjust the number to your preference. I am making a single side lace up design. Also I have a very curvy cutout shape. So my eyelets won't be even number on both sides of internal lines. You can add a start and end points on the internal line first. Then use uniform split to add point in that section as well. Now I have the eyelet placement points, it's time to make the eyelet pattern. Go to 2D Window Toolbar. Select Internal Ellipse Tool or type Shortcut R. Hold Shift, click and drag within the pattern to create an even circle. Or you can click any place within the pattern to bring out Create Ellipse Window and enter Diameter Amount. Select three points on the circle and convert them to curve points. Less points on the segment line will give you a smoother shape. However you will always have a point left on the circle. Use Transform Pattern Tool to move the circle to the placement point I created earlier. Right click on the internal circle and choose Cut and Sew. Move this piece away from the bodice pattern. Since it's a very tiny piece. Lower particle distance on this circle to 1 will help to get a nicer round shape. Right-click on the cutout circle and choose Offset Internal Line. Enter the distance amount depending on how wide the eyelet you want. Remove unnecessary points. Right-click on the new internal circle and choose Cut and Sew. Now I have a eyelet pattern and a center eyelet pattern. Add a new fabric in the object browser and lower opacity to zero in property editor. Assign the fabric to the center eyelet pattern and it will become transparent. Select eyelet and go to property editor to turn on bond. This will add stiffness to the piece and help the eyelet to stay in the round shape. You can also switch to a stiffer material such as trim hardware.
increase thickness rendering and adjust curved side geometry. Then change the material type to metal. And I have created a metal eyelet on the garment. To add a reinforcement, go to 2D window toolbar and select seam tape. Click on cutout eyelet segment lines in 2D window. Go to Property Editor and decrease the width. And that's how you can create the eyelet. For the rest of the eyelets on the garment. You don't need to make the pattern one by one. Right after you create the internal circles. Select both circles. Right click and use copy and paste. Or it's faster if you can remember the shortcut. For Mac, use Command C to make copy and Command V to paste. For PC, use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. So, I will make copy and paste to place the eyelets on each placement point. Once it's done, delete internal segment lines. Use transform pattern tool select all the internal circle lines. Right click and choose cut and sew. Move away the bodice pattern. Select all cutout circle holes and add seam tape reinforcement. Then, select all the eyelets and center eyelets pattern. Lower particle distance to 1. Separate center eyelets and eyelet patterns. Arrange the order of the patterns from top to bottom on the garment. Select all eyelets and center eyelet pattern and add bond in property editor. Increase thickness rendering. Adjust curve side geometry. And change material to metal for all the eyelet pieces. Assign transparent fabric to all the center eyelet pattern. Strengthen all the eyelets. and I can start creating lace-up look. For this design, I will create lace-up with ribbon tape. Use rectangle tool from 2D window toolbar. Make a rectangle shape and make sure the width is around the same width of center eyelid pattern or slightly narrower. For the rectangle length, if you want to have exact measurement, you can go to top window toolbar, under avatar. Select basic tape measure. Click center of the two eyelets and you will get the distance measurement.
Usually I would just roughly guess the length and create the rectangle then adjust it later after attaching to the garment. For the first set of eyelets. Use internal polygon tool, following the angle of the lace-up strap. Add an internal line inside the center eyelet pattern. Use free sewing tool, attach one side of the tape to the center eyelet. And repeat the same process for the other side. Click Simulate. Strengthen the rectangle. It's too long, so I am going to use Transform Pattern Tool to scale the length. Once it fits great on the garment, I can increase thickness rendering and adjust curve side geometry. And I am done with the first piece of lace-up strap. For the second strap, I can just make a duplicate using copy and paste. Add internal lines on the second set of center eyelets. Use free sewing tool to sew the strap to the center eyelet pattern. From the cutout shape on the dress, I can tell the second strap will be longer. So I will use Transform Pattern Tool to adjust the length. Strengthen and simulate. Adjust the length until it fits great on the garment. I don't need to add thickness and adjust curve side geometry because this piece was duplicated the same as the first strap. Repeat the same process to finish each set of eyelets. This can take a while depending on how many set of eyelets you have and the cutout shape. You would need to have a little patience. Now I have finished the top lace up section. To make it look realistic. I have to add the under layer straps as well. This will make it look like I lace up with a single long tape. First, I will make a duplicate from one of the front lace up tape. Use Shift A to hide the avatar. Freeze the front dress bodice. Select two back dress bodice, right click and choose hide 3D pattern. This way, I can clearly see the inside of the dress. Use gizmo to rotate and move the duplicate tape to the inside of the front dress bodice. Change tape angle following the lace-up direction. I can use the same internal lines from the center eyelet pattern. Use free sewing tool to attach both ends to each eyelet. When using the free sewing tool, the piece of pattern you select will have a blue dot appear in 3D window. If you get confused while connecting the pieces, just following the blue dot and you will know which piece to sew. Click Simulate, and I can see the piece is twisted. Use Edit Sewing Tool, right-click on the twisted line and choose Reverse Sewing. And the problem will be fixed. 
It will also help to turn on show thread in 3D upper window toolbar when you are sewing multiple pieces. You can check if the sewing lines are correct or not. Because of my cutout shape is irregular. Each lace up tape will be in different length. And I have to adjust it one by one. So, I will repeat the same process to finish the rest of the under layer lace up tape. And there, it's finally done. Even though it took me around 30 minutes to complete this lace-up look. I really like how it turned out in the end. Now you know how to create lace-up detail on the garment. Here is another example. I made this crisscross lace-up dress a while ago. Since it's a symmetrical pattern. It's easier to create lace-up. First. Add an internal line to the panel where you want to add lace-up detail. Use add point split line tool to add points on internal line as the eyelet placement. Use internal ellipse tool to create eyelet shape. Select both circles, use copy and paste to add the shape on each placement point. Delete internal lines. Select all the internal circles, right click and choose cut and sew. Move the pieces away from the panel. Separate center eyelet and eyelet pattern. Add seam tape reinforcement to the cutout holes. Assign transparent fabric to the center eyelet. Add thickness rendering and adjust curve side geometry for the eyelet and change material to metal. Then, add internal line on the center eyelet pattern. For this dress, I can use same angle of the internal line on each center eyelet. So just use copy and paste function. Now I have complete half side of the eyelet. Use transform pattern tool, select all the pattern pieces. Right click and choose symmetric pattern with sewing. And there, I have finished the eyelets. Use the same method I showed you in the previous demonstration. Create a rectangle shape the width of the center eyelet. Sew both ends to each side of the eyelet. Adjust the length if it's too long. For the crisscross lace. You can make one side. Use copy and mirror paste to add the opposite side of lace. Remember to add under layer lace tape as well. If you go to object browser, select button and go down to property editor. Under button shape, you can see some eyelet options. These eyelets are function like buttons. And you won't be able to add lace through these eyelets. 
Besides, when you simulate or create animation, these Clow 3D eyelets will most likely to shift around and won't stay in place. If you only need to render your design without having any movement, use the same way I show you to create lace up. But hide the eyelets and replace them with Clow 3D eyelets. Go to button in object browser. Then select the eyelet shape in property editor and change width, color, and material type. Use Gizmo in 3D window to move and place the eyelet in the correct spot on your garment. Here is the render comparison with Clo 3D eyelet and the one I made. The eyelet from Clo 3D does look nicer in rendering. If you are wondering what will happen if I delete the center eyelet transparent piece and merge top and under layer lace tape together like what you will do in real life. Here is the result. The lace will come out of the eyelet. It might work if the eyelets are bigger and with wider tape. In this case, it didn't. Maybe Clo 3D will fix the issue and you will be able to lace up through the cutout eyelet holes in the future. Also, remember when I created the cutout on the previous demonstration dress. I kept the cutout shape but made it transparent by lowering its opacity. Let me show you how it will look like without having the piece. For this dress, I have the transparent back panels. If I delete them and simulate, this is how it will look like. It might look alright for now, but when the avatars start to move around, it will keep dropping lower and lower. So, that's something you have to consider if you are going to create animation. The last thing I want to show you. You can add ribbon from Clo Library. Under Hardware and Trim. Select the type and add it to the 3D window. Use square icons next to the ribbon to scale the size. Then use glue bottle icon to attach to the garment. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.